ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون All praise is due to Allah whom we turn to for help forgiveness and guidance to the right path and we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our souls and we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our sins for whomsoever Allah guides no one can misguide and whomsoever is misguided then only Allah the almighty can guide him and i bear witness that none has the right to be worshiped except Allah the almighty alone <coughs> and i bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and messenger May the peace and blessings and prayers be upon him until the day of judgment. O you who believe, fear Allah as he should be feared and die only as Muslims <clears throat> and die only in a state of Islam. My dear brothers, <clears throat> as you all know, the month of Ramadan, the blessed month of Ramadan is approaching. And one very important question or issue that every one of you should be pondering and reflecting and contemplating on is how do we greet <coughs> this blessed month? Know that the Sahaba of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his companions, and the Tabi'een, their disciples and students and those who came after them and followed their path of righteousness used to pay special attention and give special consideration to this blessed month of Ramadan. Our pious predecessors used to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for them to reach this blessed month. And then they used to ask him to accept from them their good deeds during this blessed month. They, the pious predecessors, used to occupy and busy themselves during the days of Ramadan by fasting it. And by preserving their fast from any defects and shortcomings by keeping away from that which may invalidate their fast or decrease its rewards like slandering and backbiting and nonsense talk and all forms of sins they used to occupy and busy the nights of Ramadan by performing and observing the prayers, specifically the Taraweeh prayers and the night prayers and the Tahajjud prayers and recite the Holy Quran in plentiful. They used to pay special attention to the needs of the poor and the needy. They used to attend to clothing them, feeding them, breaking their fast. They used to occupy and busy themselves in purifying their souls in doing that which pleases Allah the Almighty in doing that which brings them closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by submitting to him by worshipping him and obeying him and doing that which pleases him so therefore my dear brothers the month of Ramadan is not a month of sleeping and laziness, not a month of carelessness and neglectfulness, not a month of thinking only that of which will fulfill your desires and lusts. 
whether stomach or private parts. It's not a month of wasting. It's a month for the believer. It's a productive month for the believer. A month where a believer strives and struggles to please his Lord by doing the many worships that are available to him during this blessed month. Subhanallah al Hassan al Basri, Rahimahullah, used to say, Inna Allah ja'ala shahr Ramadan midumaran li khalqihi yastabikuna fihi li ta'ati. Faminhum man asra fafaz. Waminhum man kassara fakaba wa khasir. Hassan al-Basr rahimahullah says Allah has made this month, the month of Ramadan, a month of competition for his slaves. A month of competition in obedience, in worship for his slaves. Some people have hurried and hastened and they have succeeded and won out. And some people have lagged behind and they have lost. Al Ahnaf ibn Qais, Rahimahullah, it was said to him, Innaka Rajulun Kabir, was Saumu Yudrifuk. Fakal inni uidduhu idda li safarin tawi. وَإِنَّ الصَّبْرَ عَلَى طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ أَهْوَنُ مِنَ الصَّبْرِ عَلَى مَعْصِيَةِ اللَّهِ وَعَلَى عَذَابِهِ إِنَّ الصَّبْرَ عَلَى طَاعَةِ اللَّهِ أَهْوَنُ مِنَ الصَّبْرِ عَلَى عَذَابِهِ يعني يوم القيامة الأحنى في بن كيس رحمه الله was, it was said to him you are an old man and fasting weakens you. Danny, you don't have to fast. He said, no. I am preparing my fast for that long journey. In preparation for the long journey of the hereafter. And being patient upon obeying Allah is much easier for me than being patient upon his punishment and torment on the Day of Judgment. And who of us can remain patient upon Allah's torment and punishment on the Day of Judgment? نعوذ بالله من من النار ومن عذاب النار أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم كل ذنب فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. In the name of Allah, and all praises due to Allah, and may the peace and blessings be upon his Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear brothers, know that the month of Ramadan, the blessed month of Ramadan, is a month of great opportunities. Is a month of great opportunities. And we should greet it with our hearts full of joy and happiness. Like what our pious predecessors used to greet this month. With joy and happiness. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to its arrival. Because of the many opportunities that it provides for the believer. And subhanAllah, the Prophet sallallahu in fact, used to give glad tidings to his ummah, to his companions, of the coming of this month. Atakum Ramadan, Shahrum Mubarak, 
the Prophet says, the month of Ramadan has come to you, has entered upon you a blessed month. In another narration, إِذَا كَانَ أَوَّلُ لَيْلَةٍ مِّنْ رَمَضَانٍ صُفِّضَتِ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَمَرَدَتُ الْجِنِّ وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ النَّارِ فَلَمْ يُفْتَحْ مِنْهَا بَابٍ وَفُتِحَتْ أَبْوَابُ الْجَنَّةِ فَلَمْ يُغْلَقْ مِنْهَا بَابٍ وَنَادَى مُنَادٍ يَا بَاغِيَ الْخَيْرِ أَقْبِلْ وَيَا بَاغِيَ الشَّرِّ أَقْصِرْ وَلِلَّهِ عُتَقَاءُ مِنَ النَّارِ وَذَلِكَ فِي كُلِّ لَيْلَةٍ Subhanallah How can a person not be fulfilled or filled with joy and happiness upon hearing such glad tidings from the mouth of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wherein in this hadith he says on the first night of Ramadan the devils and the mischievous jinn are chained the doors of the hellfire are closed and not one door is open from it the doors of paradise are open and not one door is closed from it a caller calls out O seeker of good proceed O seeker of evil, stop, cease. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees every night some of his slaves from the hellfire. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to free us from the hellfire. So how can we not be filled with joy and happiness when this is the month that Allah chose for us to fast. This is the month that Allah chose for His glorious book to be revealed in. This is the month that Allah chose a night which is better than a thousand nights in worship. Laylatul Qadr. How can we not be filled with joy and happiness when this is a night when Allah frees a number, Allahu A'lam, how much of his slaves every day from the hellfire. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us one of them. Amen. How can we not be filled with joy and happiness <coughs> during this month wherein the devils and the mischievous jinn are chained and don't have as much strength to spread their evil and whispers amongst us. How can we not be joy filled with joy and happiness during this month wherein the doors of the hellfire are closed and the doors of paradise are open? Wherein the sins are forgiven, wherein the du'as are accepted, wherein the rewards are multiplied, how can we not be filled with joy and happiness, my dear brothers? Therefore, my dear brothers, it is incumbent upon every believer during this holy month, during this blessed month, to busy himself and occupy himself in coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by obeying Him and worshipping Him in the best manner. And by keeping away from His prohibitions and that which displeases Him and gains His wrath and anger. Occupy and busy yourselves in enhancing your spiritual growth. As Allah the Almighty says in His book, وَتَزَوَّدُوا فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الزَّادِ التَّقْوَى and take provision along your journey for the best provision is God-fearingness. 
يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم. That day when no wealth, no children will be of benefit to you, except for those who have come with a pure heart, a heart which has believed in its Lord and what He has promised it, a heart which is adhered to Allah's commands, a heart which is abstained from His prohibitions. May Allah the Almighty make us one of them. Allahumma balighna Ramadan wa barik lana fi Sha'ban wa nahnu ala ahsani hal ya qawiyu ya azizu ya mannan Allahumma aghfir lana ma qaddamna wa ma akharna wa ma a'lanna wa ma asrarna anta al-muqaddim wa anta al-muakhiru la ilaha illa ant Allahumma اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل اللهم إنا نسألك خير ما سألك به نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من شر ما استعاذ منه نبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وأذل الشرك والمشركين واكبت أعداء الدين يا قوي يا عزيز يا متين اللهم انصر إخواننا في كل مكان اللهم ارفع عنهم ما نزل بهم من بلاء يا قوي يا عزيز يا متين اللهم اللهم كن لهم عونا ومؤيدا ونصيرا يا أكرم الأكرمين ويا أرحم الراحمين في سوريا وفي غزة وفي بورما وفي كل مكان يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأحمد الله وتعالى وأقم الصراط